as Trump's lead over Kamala Harris continues to increase, they're going to get more desperate on the left. They're going to get frantic. People are coming to terms with the very real likelihood that Trump is going to win on November the 5th, and they can't believe it. They're going to pull out all the stops. They're going to do everything they can um, to, to stop him. Democrats are now filing lawsuits left and right to try to keep RFK Jr. on the ballot because <laughs> they think that'll hurt Trump. Um, more and more, as Americans get to know Kamala and Tim Walsh, the, the 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 less likely they are to vote for that ticket and the more they are to vote inclined to vote for Donald Trump. Every you're gonna see every poll start to show a widening. Um right now there's a pretty good path. If you believe the if the polls were true today, if you do an average, if you do Nate Silver's average, Kamala barely wins the popular vote, and she loses in the Electoral College, and that will make them go nuts if that happens because they hate the Electoral College. They they want L.A. and New York and Chicago to tell the rest of the country how we should be governed. And the beauty of the Electoral College is it prevents that from happening. And Trump right now looks to be on track to get close to 300 electoral college votes. Last one I saw was 289, 270, somewhere around there. But, he, he, you know, it's looking good. So much is going to come down to the debate this coming Tuesday night. We're going to host a debate watch party. Larry Elder is going to anchor our debate coverage coast to coast. I'm going to be doing reports from the Studio Movie Grill in Seminole where we're going to invite you and we are inviting you to come out and join me in person along with my broadcasting colleague bill bunkley Uh, we're going to be at the studio movie grill and i just i pulled some strings and i said i want to have some door prizes how about this for a door prize how about coming to to be a part of our debate watch party and this is going to be a great experience understand this is one of the most epic political events of our lifetime this debate is going to be frankly going to be everything and Kamala is already deep in preparation. <laughs> she's 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 uh, she's practicing and rehearsing. Trump's going to hold a uh, town hall tonight on Fox News. This was the night she was supposed to debate Trump on Fox, but of course she refused. She's not going to go anywhere near Fox News. She's probably a little more comfortable with ABC, but even ABC won't be able to cover up who she is. She's an empty vessel. And she's twisting in the wind and taking any position right now that she thinks will get her elected. But she insists her values haven't changed. And every American needs to know that. Because her values are San Francisco values. And if you're okay with that as the commander-in-chief, well, you go all in for Kamala Harris. I like our chances very much. I just I just saw something online, speaking of Tim Walsh, His family, eight members of his own family, are Trump supporters. And they wanted to show the world that, so they posted something on social media. There's two, four, there's eight of them. This is his brother and various family members of the Minnesota governor. And they're they're posing in front of a giant flag that says, Trump 2024, take America back. And they're all wearing navy blue T-shirts with big, bright white letters that say, Nebraska Walzes for Trump. (laughs) That's that's not too embarrassing, huh? For uh, that weird, oddball governor of Minnesota, the tyrant, who, uh, you know, had cops shooting paintball guns at residents on their front porches when they violated curfew. The guy who lied about his military service. Yeah, that guy. His own family is supporting Donald Trump, apparently. There's eight of them, all eight family members, with T-shirts, Nebraska waltzes for Trump. She is an empty vessel. And the fascinating thing is she's trying to run from her own record, and the American people aren't going to let her do that. You can't hide behind teleprompters and act like you're a change from the last nearly four years. Here was Benny Johnson on social media, he's a big social media influencer, hosts The Benny Show, and he described Kamala Harris perfectly. You don't have to pander to people. And you don't have to 
debase yourself because you have purpose and value, you have value, right? But when you get someone like Kamala Harris, when you get these empty vessels who are so incapable of the happiness and joy and the things that bring the rest of us like centering in life, like family and children uh, and our relationship, religion, praying, you know, re like working out, you know, eating healthy, living a healthy life, getting some sunshine. Like those, when you, when you don't have those things, you become completely untethered. And then you go about, you go about the actions of someone who will do anything for approval. And that's not the person you want in charge of the nuclear codes. That's not the person you want making decisions on a battlefield. Somebody who doesn't know who doesn't, somebody who has no morals, no grounding, and no purpose in life. The last person you want deciding the future for your family and your children are those people. He's a smart guy. Smart take, Benny Johnson. Truth of the matter is, we're going to face a catastrophic situation. Slavery reparations, you bet. She's all in. Um, every position that she's ever had, she's pretending she's changed her mind on in a desperate bid for your vote. She's always been against fracking, but she knows she'll lose Pennsylvania. So now she's in favor of fracking. She's always been for Medicare for all. Now she's against Medicare for all. She absolutely was in charge of the of the border, and she failed abysmally. 75% of arrests made in Midtown Manhattan are from illegals. Those are illegals being arrested. I stay in New York, and right on Times Square, every time I'm in New York, I'll be there again in a few days. There's a hotel there called Row NYC. It's a migrant hotel, they call it. It's where they that's where they're housing the illegals. I, and I stand there and watch in amazement as men, women, and children by the hundreds and hundreds are out on Eighth Avenue, Ninth Avenue, little kids on scooters at one o'clock in the morning, and police and ambulances are called there three, four, five times a night. Seventy five percent of crimes being committed in midtown Manhattan are being committed by illegals according to the NYPD. Mike Gallagher. Wow, the uh, <laughs> the Walsh family endorsing Donald Trump is going viral. It's all over social media. It's quite the picture. Kristen, do you have it? we got to put that up at Salem News Channel. Eight members of Tim Walsh's own family in front of a, of a sign that says Trump 2024, take America back, and they're all wearing T-shirts that say... <laughs> I can't get over it. They're wearing T-shirts that say uh, Nebraska waltzes for Trump. So I guess, you know, he's from Nebraska. I don't know. I mean, even Mark Davis is checking in uh, from his vacation, and he said <laughs> he, he sent me the picture and just texted, Lord, let this be real. It appears to be genuine and real. It is absolutely real. Holy moly, um, not a good day for the the Harris campaign. Look, it, it is falling apart. And I, I love the perspective of Tammy Bruce over at uh, Fox News. She keeps saying, stay steady, don't get too high, don't get too low. You know, we're watching these poll numbers. Things are looking real good right now, but we got two months to go, and we can't be cocky, and we can't be overconfident, and we must not be complacent. We got to avoid the three C's, I call them. Here's Andrew in Tennessee. Hey, Andrew, welcome aboard. How you doing today? Doing pretty good. How you doing? I'm pretty good. What's up? I, I want to try to discuss Kamala's pathway to the presidency. As much as I, I hope that it never happens, after seeing the last election, I really don't see how the Democrats are going to allow Trump into the presidency again. Well, they don't have a choice. Um, They're not going to have a say. I'm, I'm originally. I'm originally from Michigan. Um, Wayne County, Michigan, is the largest county in the state. Right. We, they had more voters come out. I think they had more votes come in than voters. Right. I know. I mean, we've um, been through this a thousand times. First of all, when you say they're not going to let him win, they don't have that power. They're going to try to do everything they can to prevent him for, from winning, 
But that's why you've got to, you're registered. I'm sure you've got, you're taking oh, definitely. you're taking ten people with you to the polls. You got to you got to take the word the phrase that Trump uses over and over again: "Too big to rig," to heart. We got to make it a landslide. I, I, I just got done watching the whole thing with the eight different states trying to make illegal immigrants. Um, Actually, I don't want to say illegal to vote. It's illegal to vote anyway. Sure. But they're pushing it in eight different states. Oh, you bet. There's several states that, where, where they can get an ID. You bet. And after allowing what, millions of them over the border, I'm kind of concerned how easy the swing states are making it for them to get in there. Look, it's um, not just no the – and it's not – and it's not, and, sorry to interrupt you. It's not just the swing states. Sure. It's more than the swing states. We understand that. We Listen, it's not going to be – this isn't going to be a cakewalk – that we understand that we we but but that's what you got it that's why you got to do your part have you been to trump force 47 yet i have i have not all right go to this site and 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 get involved rather than you know and, and look i'm not trying to dismiss your worries because i'm worried too we're all concerned but we can either just bay at the moon and say oh my gosh they're gonna they're gonna cheat they're gonna do this they're gonna do that or you can do something about it if you text the number 47 to 800 655 mike just text 47 to 800 655 Mike. We'll send you back the way you can hand out yard signs for Trump uh, advance. You can make phone calls. You can knock on doors. Um, and the website, it's I think it's Trump for, yeah, tw- TrumpForce47.com. Be a part of the solution. Uh, we, we, we can't be complacent, but the guy with the, the, look, at this point, it's Trump's to lose. He's got the p- easier path to the White House. And the world knows it. Now what are we going to do about it? Glad you called. 800-655-MIKE.